Professor Georgia Carter from the University of Virginia was presenting about improved resins for aggregate clearance. So he outlined in his presentations how resins have to be designed to be optimized for aggregate removals in the purification. So a couple of characteristics were that they need a large pore size around 50 nanometers. Optimized resins for aggregate clearance have to be um, chemically homogeneous. The chemistry needs to be very hydrophilic and the particles need to have a large pore size of 50 nanometers and a small particle size around 50 micrometers to be ideal for this type of purification. Shumehe from Biorad was presenting about the purification of viruses and virus-like particles. In her presentation, she outlined uh, how specifically designed chromatographic materials can be used for this type of separation. So for uh, accommodating large amounts of viruses on chromatographic particles, you need larger porosities. These are accommodated, for example, by materials like Nuvia Q. In addition, surface extenders allow for higher binding capacities of viruses and related proteins and next to uh, porosity of particles also new selectivity can efficiently contribute to purifying uh, these types of molecules. It was also my pleasure to introduce a non-affinity platform for the purification of IgM and this type of platform process is not only applicable to IgM molecules but also to IgG derived antibody fragments that uh, don't have a handle to be purified by protein A for example and we could outline a process that makes use of Nuvia S as a high capacity cation exchanger to capture the molecules in combination with the ceramic hydroxy appetite for polishing so the hydroxy appetite offers the very fine selectivity of a multimodal chromatographic material which is capable of removing all process and product relating purities in the following step. Tarek Jabba from Charles Rivers Laboratories gave an overview of uh, viral clearance by chromatography. So he was able to outline how different interaction principles in chromatography give different viral clearance level. <laughs> Interestingly, he could uh, showcase that anion exchange is certainly one of the best methods to use for uh, getting a good viral clearance in your chromatographic purification there. It was also very interesting to learn that uh, there is also a difference in flow-through mode and in bind and elute mode. So anion exchange, for example, works best in the flow-through modes. And next to this, uh, Tarek was also uh, comparing anion exchange chromatography material to membrane adsorbers with anion exchange functionality. An interesting uh, fact was that uh, chromatographic particles uh, perform better on viral clearance level and uh, Charles River thinks that this is due to the fact that people usually overload their membranes in this type of processes. Mossadegh Hussein from Merck Research Laboratories in New Jersey was presenting about the quantification of host cell DNA in protein samples. So host cell DNA is one of the major uh, process related impurities in biopurification and uh, Mossadegh compared the droplet digital PCR to qPCR and one of the advantages that is very much associated with the droplet digital PCR is that you don't need to have a sample extraction and there you can work with minimal sample amounts. The purification workshop was concluded with a panel discussion that gave uh, the speakers and the audience the opportunity to discuss on new resin development, the challenges that have to be met next to aggregate clearance, but also what analytical techniques need to be developed for uh, manufacturing the next generation biopharmaceuticals.